Namaste, Soul Tri family. Welcome back my way on this divinely guided day. As I sit here and meditate and play with my cards because I do need to keep my hands busy, let me tell you what came on out, okay? You got Rise, Crystal, Vision, the Star, and the Winter, okay? Um, thank you so much for how you contribute to the channel. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. To my A1s, who are my day ones, and the Soul Tri family, I love you and the divine loves you. Okay, I want to stay real focused on this energy because it is just a flat out deliberate message to someone or many. Okay, a divine creator of all living things, I ask that you protect myself, the Soul Tri family, during this read, all reads, and all the time. I ask that you provide us with clear and concise messages as well as clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment. Any negativity that is thrown or projected at myself or the Soul Tribe family, I ask that you clear, cancel, and release it as we too clear, cancel, and release it back to the universe for the universe to do with that energy as the universe sees fit. Ashe and thank you. I'll tell you right now, the universe is saying to someone out here, you're on the rise. You may see this. You may have um, a crystal clear vision of this. Take it how it resonates, okay? There's something that you're doing and you can see that it's on the rise. You may be this star energy out here. The star energy brings back hope, tranquility. Even provides some sort of guidance on picking up that energy. Something takes off for this star in the winter. You may even be the star this winter. Don't know what that means, but take it how it resonates. But if you know you're doing something, I feel like you could possibly blow up here. This is what spirit is saying because you're on the rise and you have a crystal clear vision. So you may be very all the clairs, clairvoyant. You may um, be a seer. OK, but I feel like this has a lot to do with your third eye and your connection to source. Tell me more about this on the rise, please. And thank you, Spirit. Tell me about this on the rise. Wow, that was a lot. May I just have one message, please? <laughs> okay, I, okay, sorry. Fine. <clears throat> All right. So this rise here, um, something's taken off. It could be for, fairly quickly. Let me, let me look at this message, y'all, because a lot came out. I wasn't expecting for all this. All right, there's an attraction. There could be attraction to somebody, uh, brother. Okay, so whatever this rise is, um, it's happening quickly, okay? You may be blossoming, blooming, uh, growing into... Um, I get this energy like you're growing, you're budding like a flower, okay? Um, and... The planting of the seeds, the flower is now blooming. Somebody's attracted to you here, and it could be a brother, okay? A brother in love, life, um, a literal, um, like, someone that's close to you like that could be a brother. But it's almost like the seed that was planted, it's now blossomed and someone is attracted to that tell me about this crystal clear yeah this crystal clear vision is tied to royalty i feel like this has a lot to do with your bloodline i feel like you are someone of um the old ways that's what spirit is saying you're tied to the old ways you're of the old ways. Okay. I heard that spirit. Okay. You're of the old ways. Mm. Tell me more about that message. You're of the old ways. What do you mean by that spirit? Whatever it is, it's not tied to anything that deals with sorrow. Whatever these old ways are, it is not tied to sorrow. It is not tied to um, kitty. Mm. And there's a chime. I don't know if y'all heard that. Yeah. The old ways are not tied to uh, deep distresses caused by loss or disappointment or um, other misfortune. 
Hmm. Okay. This means the old ways are not tied to a, a lack mindset, that old ways are tied to everything that is courageous and brave. Hmm. You are of the old ways. Okay. Old ways. Mm, I feel like this is ancient, like ancient teachings. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a lack mindset. Okay. Tell me the um the star tied to the roots. Yeah, this is this is practice. Um, you're the star that is tied to a lineage. This is part of your roots. The star represents um, now in this case, you could be the star of this 10 of Pentacles energy. Like someone who is the protector of this lineage or this star energy that carries this uh, 10 of Pentacles energy forward. Tell me about the star and these roots. Whoa. Whatever you, it's something about you not retreating, not retreating from the path that you're on. Mm hmm. You didn't retreat. It feels to me like, you know, your bravery, you didn't retreat. Mm hmm. And you're a sister. You could be a teacher as well, but there's something about somebody may have wanted you to retreat, but you didn't retreat. You're a teacher. What's this winner? Yeah, you're a teacher that provides spiritual guidance through your art. Something about this winner. You provide spiritual gu guidance. You're an artist. I feel like this art is something that is innate. It's something that you do. You could also have a love for art. Something pertaining to a home. Hmm, let me see. This winter, you could spiritually guide an artist towards a home or you could be guided towards a home. You're a spiritual guider. You could be guided towards um, a mm, I oh, got it. Okay. Towards something that is stable. Okay. A foundation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something about you weathered some storms when it came to your faith. People may have looked at you as being wild and worldly, but this was actually a completion of your journey, tapping into your intuition and your creativity and healing. You may have gone through this over the spring. Yeah. You had to experience some storms when it came to your faith and your beliefs. Somebody may have looked at you on the wild side or being connected to worldly things, but actually this was completing your journey. This was how you tapped into your intuition, or this was part of awakening your intuition through your creativity. This was part of your healing journey. You may have went through that during the springtime. This last past spring, spring, yeah, this is the will of fortune, wish fulfillment, good luck, blessings, good karma. This had everything to do with your spiritual journey. A lot of people didn't understand that. This soulmate is here again. <laughs> I have no offense, uh, you know, no offense intended. I don't have nothing against the soulmate, but it's like, I'm like, y'all soul, uh, soul tribe family, where they at? Okay. I'm about tired of they ass popping up. Where they at? Shit. What's that saying? Oh, quick disclosure. Sometimes I come in hot, sometimes not. Okay, so um, you can definitely uh, understand that I do speak or overstand or, you know, understand that I do um, speak the truth. Call out names. I've got it too. <sighs> and I curse. Okay, I do curse, speak the truth and call out names. I've got it too. But this damn soulmate is kind of on my nerves. 
I don't know if this soulmate is trying to play it. Uh, you know, I don't know. Let, let's just see this message. So the soulmate comes out. The soulmate could be seen as somebody who's a, dr a wise dreamer or they dream big, okay? Full of wisdom. They have big dreams. They could be a sister and a storyteller. Okay, I see what's up. There's somebody, okay, that is out here for you. They're going to match your energy. They're going to be somebody who's wise, okay? They have big dreams just like you. Um, I feel like your energy could be a sister. You could be, um, you know what I'm saying? Because we have that out here a lot, the teacher and the sister. So you could be a sister who's a storyteller, okay? You could be um, connected to... Um, Tapping in and channeling, okay? Channeling messages. You don't have to be an oracle or a tarot card reader. You could actually just be a channeler that um, prophesies or delivers the divine message. Yeah, yeah. Um, something about you being by a river or a lake or dealing with water here. You may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a strong moon. Um, sign of Pisces or Cancer. Empress energy out here. Mm -hmm. Something about you uh, being, uh, something about, somebody wants you to be, mm. whatever this soulmate is, this in tune relationship, somebody wants you to keep that to yourself. This is royal energy out here, masculine energy. Somebody, you found somebody. They put some things to rest. I feel like you caused somebody to take a change here. Masculine energy may have started seeing something different. They saw you as a leader. You may have um, moved somebody towards making their decisions. I feel like you are, are like somebody with that people. Yeah, they follow because you are a mother figure and you have this mother guy energy. There's a gentleness about you. Possibly even when you communicate. Yeah. But somebody wasn't wise. They failed to recognize this. Yeah. Spirit is saying that's the truth. Somebody didn't recognize that. Mm -hmm. Somebody did not see that you were the magician. You're magical. A master manifester, master alchemist, alchemizing, manifesting everything all at once, working in diff different energies um, interchangeably. Mm. And simultaneously, damn. You work in a lot of energies at once. Damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll you. I don't know if I want to use this deck here. I'm not really fond of this deck. No, I don't want to use that. I feel like I don't know who this energy is. To tell you the truth, family, like with this soulmate connection thing, no offense intended, but it really irritates me because I'm like, who is this? Because I, I don't know. I don't know if this is somebody you, you know, masculine energy. I don't know if this is somebody you know or you've got your eyes on. Um, feminine energy, divine femme, divine mass, flip the roses, you see fit. I don't know if this is somebody y'all got y'all's eyes on or somebody got their eyes on you. But it is quite frustration frustrating that this energy keeps popping out and it's like well where you at because i got my soul tribe family over here asking like when where how and when and what's up a spirit please tell us why this um twin flame soulmate whatever this energy is and it's coming up as a soulmate why is it always here who is it what's going on with this energy it's like don't be a creep and sit in the background we don't have time it's a water sign fuck <laughs> Well, in that case, they are always going to stay hidden. Um, yeah, you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I don't know if this is your soulmate. Okay. Uh, I mean, you could probably... 
I don't have time. Like, this is too much. This this energy out here, this soulmate energy out here, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What else about this energy spirit? Okay, this energy wants you to move on. Move on. Move on from this energy. I'm serious. You need to move on from this energy. Yeah. Because they're a liar. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah. And then on the other end, somebody's saying, give it time. I don't know about that. Maybe move on from them. They're a liar. They could think you're a liar. You ain't lied to them about shit. You just, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you just got tired of waiting on somebody. So you ventured out. Maybe there was an immediate punishment for venturing out too, but fuck it. Shit happens. We're grown, right? But you went on and left that alone. Let me see. Yeah, this was your intuition. Uh, your intuition is out here because, you know, there could be, yeah, there could be a water sign that feels like you're a liar, but you didn't lie to them at all. This water sign, shit, they were the liar. They've always been the liar. Mm -hmm. This water sign's always been a liar. Mm hmm I feel like, yeah, move on from that energy, um, especially if they're a liar. Don't give nothing no more time. Your intuition's already telling you that. Just go on and move on. There's no more time. Yeah, literally. Intuition says no. Just get leave that alone. But you wish you wish you, you may have stayed. You uh, somebody's at a distance in their spine. This could be that damn air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like your guardian angels are telling you to be patient and take yourself on a vacation. They're communicating this to you now because somebody plans on coming back. You may manifest something to come back. I hope not because it looked like it's a gold digger that's going to be pregnant. And this was a gamble anyway when you laid down with her. But you were a narcissist trying to do a love spell on somebody that now you're confessing maybe in a commitment with somebody else. Mercury retrograde could be bringing this information out. Mm. but I feel like that energy over there just stopped I, I don't know water sign moved on because there's a liar there there's some sort of intuition the answer is no I would just I would just say yeah focus on yourself and uh, clear cancel and release any uh, love spells anybody could be trying to cast, place on you. Somebody may want you to, um, I don't know, there's some sort of love spell here. What is this? Yeah, sexuality and confessions. Somebody could be going through a divorce behind intimacy, not, not being intimate. There could have been some sort of blockage when it came to someone's sexuality. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's narcissistic energy. Somebody's into someone else. They could have manifested someone else. Somebody is into someone else and they manifested them. This person could be going through some sort of health problems. Allergic to pets. Mm. I feel like, yeah, uh, just move around when it comes to water sign energy. That's what I could say. All right, Spirit, tell me more. What else? Yeah, somebody's out here. Somebody out here is pregnant. Tell me about this pregnancy. They want you to, somebody needs you to open up your heart. They could be spying on you. Somebody could be spying on a pregnant woman that needs to open up her heart. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, there's a commitment here. You could have a commitment coming in. 
what else about this energy? What's this commitment about? This could be a commitment with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Spirit is saying that's a yes. Right now, they're currently at a distance from you, but there will be intimacy here. There could be going through a divorce and moving towards you or you moving towards them or moving in with each other. They may also have earth sign placements in their chart and they're divorcing a gold digger. This gold digger needs to let go. This could have been started uh, during Mercury retrograde. I feel like somebody tried to put a love spell on someone to keep them within their energy, though. This could have also been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could have put a love spell on a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, got pregnant by them, wants them to open their heart. They're spying on something because they thinking about someone else. There's a honeymoon coming up. Risks are being taken date night. Communicating with one another or other people. Cycles coming to an end. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's questioning someone's sexuality. Someone's using protection now and being more cautious or at least thinking about how they should have been. And that these things could be posing a challenge. Someone is finally confessing. Yes, pets. Something about them being guarded. Something about being loyal here with dogs. A dog is involved. They're being guarded by their guardians. Somebody be, could be telling someone to take a vacation. Be patient. Everything kills within due time. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. Yeah. Pregnancy. Yeah. This this feels to me like, you know, somebody got a gold digger pregnant. Mm -hmm. Really? There's a gold digger that's pregnant. This gold digger spying on something. They want somebody to open up their heart, but their heart is guarded. Something pertaining to pets here. Mm -hmm. What's up with these pets? Why does pet keep coming out? Yeah. Let me see. Somebody gonna have to let go of some pets. Mm -hmm. Something about maybe th with this divorce, somebody gonna have to give up their pets. Yeah, that's the completion of the cycle. That's the last draw. They're fighting over giving up the pets. That's the completion of a cycle. Somebody's eager to get back out there and start dating. But right now, closure on this issue is causing them some challenges. Interesting. What's going to be the outcome of this? Spirit, please, and thank you. What's going to be the outcome of this? This energy. What's going to be the outcome of this energy? Yeah, balancing some things out. Mm -hmm. Could be some sort of change in some circumstances, but it's definitely coming to a crossroads and balancing some things out. People could be wondering right now, like, you know, how this is going to end. I feel like as soon as you get whatever out your energy, it's going to end well. But there's some things that are being uh, hidden in the dark. When it comes to this will of fortune, this change, and this fate, yeah. See, somebody right here, it's not just about winning at all costs. It's about conquering or defeating whatever this is. People are taking action. Somebody's being advised to rest. Rest. It's your time to rest. This is the truth. Rest from these team environments. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody may just want you to rest, yep, because you're already an independent, single, financial, uh, fi a financially independent, single, feminine energy out here. Yeah, you're living in Ten of Cups. You're already in your happiness and your joy. Mm -hmm. Somebody sees you in Ten of Pentacles and they want you to stay there. Real talk. Somebody does not want you holding any burdens. And this is a king of cups. King of cups don't want you holding no burden. 
a King of Cups is actually out here. Um, huh. Damn. Holding on to those burdens. Interesting. Burn responsibility, stress, blockage, lost faith. Yeah. Yep. They see you as a high priestess. They may be wanting to offer you a pinnacle. You may have walked away from this or you may have said you're going to walk away from this. Yeah. You've decided to take a different action, a different journey. But you can see change here. That's what's got you moving towards this because this action brings in change. You could be somebody who's very dependable and efficient and responsible. They see this. Mm. The burdens would be on a king of pen, a king of cups. King of Cups is close to a high priestess energy. Whatever they were offering, you walking away from it. Mm. Yeah, because they could be tied to toxicity as I saw the devil. Mm. Yeah. I feel like yeah, that might be a problem for them. <laughs> yeah. They could be working with the King of Pentacles too. Yeah, they're tied to the devil if they're working with the king of pentacles. Yep. And this is a partnership. This partnership uh, could be um, some sort of synthesis. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. Hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, King of Cups and King of Pentacles, they uh, evidently are in some sort of a partnership here. And this partnership is... Uh, it has formed some sort of system... Yeah. They found a new way to do something. I don't think it would be a good idea for you to even get involved with this energy. And I think they know that too. I feel it's time for, yeah, whatever this uh, Scorpio Pinnacle energy is, King of Cups, King of Pinnacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't need to be involved with that. Because it's like, you know, a king of cups is carrying the burden for a high priestess. They want to offer something, but they know that you're going to walk away from it as soon as you figure out that there's a king of pentacles here that they've partnered with. Because you don't want to even deal with this king of pentacles because you see that there's this synthesis here when it comes to this ace of wands. Yeah, that's why you ain't getting this offer. Spirit is saying walk away. Yeah. Yeah, going to walk away from that energy. Mm hmm Because you're not going to want to deal with them as soon as you find out who that King of Pentacles is anyway. That King of Pentacles is bad news. So there's a closure here, and I feel like you just need to close it out and just be done. Don't worry about it. Don't try to be tied to this. Go on your way. Somebody is, like, not communicating with you because that's their way of protecting you. You're already going to do something. I feel like you just need to stay focused on that. Yeah, with this Knight of Swords. Yeah, just stay focused on moving towards the direction in the path that you're moving in because it's something that fits you. And it brings you to calmer waters, puts you back into the Four of Wands. And this is an aha moment and awakening because these people have always been tied to third-party energies. 
that are tied to the devil. And they've been victorious in betraying many people. I feel like your star energy pulls you out of that negative toxic group and puts you over here where you are able to flourish and give and receive Somebody here, a Knight of Cups, someone younger is coming in. They have already gone in and, and have reflected on what it was that they needed to reflect on pertaining to their growth um, and getting to know themselves, both light and dark um, side, shadow side. They don't pose any conflict for this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is... This relationship here with this Knight of Cups is someone who's younger. And then there's even a page of cups here. So someone even younger. It's like um, some sort of, you know, a younger energy that may be more mature for their age is looking at a Queen of Wands. And then you got a page of wands or excuse me, a Knight of Wands out here. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, younger energy surrounding this Queen of Wands. But they're all hardworking. They do believe in the Nine of Cups energy, happiness and joy. They believe in, you know, um, reaping the benefits of their hard work. And then you got a King of Wands. It's like this King of Wands knows every little young energy around you. They could even be, you know, these are these could also be very mature energies. They don't have to be young in age. They could just be mature in the Im, Im, immature in the mind. I feel like there is a king of wands here, though. Pisces, uh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They may have all these younger immature energies under judgment because they know that you have a lot to offer and they already know that whoever's coming in. You're not going to accept that. Not if they cannot manifest and be strong. It's like somebody you're waiting on somebody to come in that matches your energy. You're not worried about nothing that does not match your energy. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave this reading, this energy here for y'all. Hopefully it resonates. Okay. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I do feel like, you know, you are on the rise, but now spirit wants you to, you know, stay focused. OK, don't don't chase nothing. You don't got to chase. I mean, I know you kind of want to rush some things. I feel like, you know, you want to hurry up and make something happen because <laughs> you just like, oh, I just want to get back over here. You know, you I feel that energy. You know, I feel like you're like, OK, I've manifested this. Now I need to manifest this. But I don't know if spirit just wants you to sit down and relax and chill out because you could be walking away prematurely from something. Because there may be a king of wands there or somewhere in your energy that's just waiting for you to make up your mind. Like, you staying, you going, you're going to be here. What's up? You know, I don't know. I don't know what that energy is. Only you would know that. Okay. Um, but I feel like, you know, you may be dealing with a lot of immature people that you just like, ugh, or you just don't want to deal with nobody. <laughs> Your options are like, ugh. <laughs> so you like, um, no, that's okay. I can go back over here, but I feel like, you know, um, everything will work out and there is something happening this winter and you are on the rise. Okay. So take it how it resonates, family. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. So divine creator of all living things, I am asking at this time that you keep the Soul Tribe family with love, harmony, prosperity, tranquility, peace, protection, and respect in their lives and all the time. Ashe and thank you. And until next time, you know what I love to say. Namaste. <laughs>